coverage of the Dole campaign. Team the Leader, in cooperation with Washburn University, presents their high school quiz game, Q. Now in its 12th season, Q is brought to you by Pepsi-Cola, Capital Federal Savings, Crown Chevrolet GOOs, and Ed Marlings. Tonight's game features DeSoto versus Leavenworth. Now, here is the host of Q, 13 News anchor, Ralph Hill. Good evening and welcome back to Hi Q. Uh, we've been off for a few weeks because of the NCAA basketball tournament on 13 and CBS, but we're back and uh, going to our round of eight next week. We have one slot left and it could go to DeSoto or will go to DeSoto or Leavenworth. They are here with us tonight. Let's meet the team from Leavenworth first of all. Hi Clay, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm a junior at Leavenworth High School. And Jenny? I'm Jenny Hugo and I'm a junior at Leavenworth. And our coach is Gail Pullum, and our alternate is Adam Harrington. Okay. Uh, I'm Andrew Gowrich, and I'm a freshman. Sandy? I'm Sandy Shadburn, and I'm a sophomore. Okay, welcome to Haiku, the team from Leavenworth. <laughs> and from not too far away, let's meet the team from DeSoto High School in DeSoto, Kansas. Eric, hello. Hi, I'm Eric Strungen, and I'm a junior. Okay. I'm Will Hageman, and I'm a senior. Our co coaches are Mrs. Kathy Reddy and Mrs. Karen Wall. And our alternate's Mike Reddy. Okay, Ryan. I'm Ryan Klinghoffer, and I'm a junior at DeSoto. And I'm Steve Yantis, I'm a senior. The team from DeSoto High. Our judge and referee for Q is Dr. Robert Stein, Dean of the Honors Program and Chairman of Washburn's English Department. Ping Enriquez is keeping score for our halves and lightning round, and Jackie Ashgren will be tallying up the score in the back booth there. So we'll be back with DeSoto and Leavenworth, but right now we'll take a break. Hi, I'm Bill Gillis from Topeka West High School, and stay tuned for more Q. Wilson! Wilson! No matter how long it takes to get your diet Pepsi, don't worry. Ah! Great taste is always guaranteed. Just made it! Yes! Ha. Straw? In the last couple years, my bank has changed owners, changed names, and my mortgage was sold three times. I was tired of change. My friend suggested I try Capital Federal. Good advice. They've been here for a long time, and I like the security of knowing that they'll always be there for me, and for her. Our financial strength is the strength of the community. We're here to stay, helping build strong communities today and tomorrow. Capital Federal Savings. For finishing touches that make your house a home, see the beautiful Waverly Collection at Ed Marling's. At Ed Marling's, you can coordinate designs and fabrics, even wallpaper, to create a look of elegance in your home. Waverly stands for exceptional styling and incomparable quality. Visit our Waverly Gallery and find out how you can give your rooms the look you've dreamed of for years. See Ed Marling's, just off 29th and Fairlawn in Topeka. Hi, I'm Ashley Howard from Center High School. Now back to Ralph for more Q. We start our quarterfinals coming up in a little while here on High Q, but let's uh, finish up the first round with DeSoto and Lawrence. Here's your first question for 10 points. Eight minutes on the clock for the first half. Here we go. Name the next two prime numbers greater than 100. Buzz in when you're ready. Will, DeSoto. 101 and 103. That's right, DeSoto. It's 10 to nothing, and here is your bonus. For 10 points apiece, Will and your teammates, give me the first name of these fictional characters. The first name. Last name is Fogg. F-O-G-G. Uh-huh. Bilius. Right. Spade. Sam. Sam. Uh-huh. And Crane. Ichabod. Ichabod? That's an Ichabod. Well, I hope the Washburn fans were listening for that. Right. 30 points there. It's 40 to nothing. Here's our next toss-up. Quote, when the sun rose, I saw the invasion fleet lying off the shore, ship beside ship. And without a break, troops, weapons, munitions, and vehicles were being unloaded in a steady stream. End quote. In what country were these words uttered by a German POW in 1944? Will. France? It wasn't France, sure, for the D-Day invasion. 
Etymology is your next bonus players uh, for uh, DeSoto. These are 10 apiece, we have three. What insect sips its dinner through a straw-like tube that can fold and unfold? Well, a butterfly? Butterfly, yes. Yeah. Maybe the fold I gave it to you. Uh, how many life stages does a butterfly have? Well, three. That's four. And finally, what is the name for the silken case spun by caterpillars? Uh, chrysalis? Nope. No, that's the cocoon. We were looking for a cocoon. So you got the first one, butterfly, for 10 points. And on our next toss-up, what prefix, meaning together, is joined to such roots as thetic, drome, apse, ergism, cronus, and opsis? Looking for the prefix that goes with those. Jenny. Sin. Sin. Right. S-Y-N. Yes, okay. Jenny, um, you guys, I have in my hot little hands the art bonus. If you'll take a look at the screen, we'll see how well you know this particular artist. This is the portrait of Cardinal Nino de Guevara, painted in the late 1500s by a well-known Cretan painter who did most of his notable work in Spain. For 30 points, can you tell me the artist? El Greco. El Greco, right, when you see that work, and that's who it is. Here's the second work of art. Take a look at this by Dominikos Theotokopoulos, or El Greco. This was Toledo in a Storm, painted by the artist around 1610. He was 60 years old. This work is in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. El Greco is right. So there we have the portraits for you. And a 30-pointer. Okay, here's our next toss-up. And Leavenworth, you may have an advantage here, I don't know. Eyeshadows, lipsticks, and nail colors that create a shimmering pearly effect are called what? Jenny. Frost. Frost, yeah, Jenny knew that one. Okay, let's go to your next bonus. This is on history. Five points for four. To irrigate this ancient wonder, water from the Euphrates was pumped to the top of the hill. To irrigate this ancient wonder. The what Hanging the Gardens of Babylon. That's right. absolutely right. Uh -huh. With Constantinople's capture by Ottoman Turks, which empire came to its end? The Byzantine. The Byzantine. Right. George Washington attempted to kidnap what man and have him return to U.S. forces for execution? Benedict Arnold? Yeah. Benedict Arnold? You're three for three. And number four, in what century were the most states, 29 in all, admitted to the Union? What century? The 19th. The 19th. Sure. So there's 20 points to you. And our next toss-up. Of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the two most difficult to spell are the mausoleum at Halicarnassus and the Colossus at Rhodes. We want you to please spell both mausoleum and Colossus. We'll give you some time here. Time in. Spell mausoleum and Colossus. Okay. Time, Ralph. Okay, no buzz-ins. Nope. M-A-U-S-O-L-E-U-M and Colossus is C-O-L-O-S-S-U-S -S -S on both those spellings. During the Revolutionary War, General Howe defeated General Washington in a battle near a Pennsylvania stream, the name of which suggests two alcoholic beverages. Will, Will DeSoto? Brandywine? Brandywine right. Creek is it. DeSoto, here's your bonus. And we'll find out how much do you know about the 35th President of the United States. In what state was John F. Kennedy born? Massachusetts. Massachusetts? Right, he was, huh? Why didn't Lee Harvey Oswald stand trial for murder? He was shot by Jack Ruby. And himself murdered, including JFK. How many U.S. presidents have been assassinated, including JFK? Four. Four is right. So we got all three of those, right? 30 points on JFK. From the Latin word meaning to blacken, in English it means to belittle or blacken a character. What's the word we're looking for? Time, Ralph. Denigrate, from denigrare, Latin to blacken. Fill in the blank in this line of verse by Robert Browning. Ah, but a man's reach should exceed his grasp, or what's a blank for? You know that one? Will DeSoto? Woman? No. No? I, li I like your answer. Leavenworth, can you take that? What's a blank for? An arm. What's a heaven for? If, uh, what is that? If man's reach should exceed his grasp, what's a heaven for? Next toss-up. What type of opera began as comic skits called intermezzos performed in front of the curtain between the acts of a serious opera? We are looking for the Italian term for that, the comic skits. Will DeSoto? Operetta? Nope. No, sorry, Will, that's not it. Leavenworth, take a shot at that. Time, Ralph. Opera Buffa was uh, the name of that. 
Draft dodging in early America had a different connotation than in the more recent decades. For instance, uh, during the Civil War, you probably know a person could hire a substitute to go to the front for him and serve in his place. Name the U.S. president who did hire a replacement draftee to avoid serving in the military during the war between the states. Later became president of the United States. Know that one? Well, DeSoto? Chester Arthur? Nope. No, that's not the one. Jenny or your teammates? Time Ralph. Take a guess there. Grover Cleveland we were looking for. Grover Cleveland later served two terms. Okay, time for the high cue scramble. We want you to look at the screen again. We have a jumbled word. Here's your definition for tonight. An impelling force or a sudden urge. What's the word? Will? Impulse. Impulse. Will, you got it? All right. That's the word. Quotations is your next bonus. Mark Twain defined a classic as a book which people praise and don't what? Read. They praise it and don't read it. Right. Emerson wrote, the only way to have a blank is to be one. Only way to have a what? Time, Ralph. Only way to have a friend is to be one. Pindar found what has a longer life than deeds. It has a longer life than deeds. Words? Words, right. right. And Juliet called this an inconstant thing that monthly changes in her circled orb. Love? The moon. Okay, you got two. You got the first one and the third one, right? Okay, so there's ten points. Those were five apiece. Ten points there. All right, players, uh, we've reached halftime here. DeSoto, you're in the lead by 50, 120 to 70. We'll be back with our six-minute second half right after we take a break. Hi, my name is Josh Gillen from Linden High School. Stay tuned for more Haikyuu. Here's your invitation to an open house with a new attitude at Crown Chevy Olds in Lawrence. To celebrate, Crown has ordered a special allotment of new 95 Chevy cars and trucks, which means you're going to save hundreds, even thousands of dollars on a great selection of new genuine Chevrolets. Open the doors and drive away in a new 95 two-door Metro for only $88.59. Or take advantage of open house savings on this 95 S10 extended cab for only $13,235. Come celebrate all year long with the new attitude at Crown Chevy Geo Olds. Hi, my name is Kent Meinhart from Wabansi. Now back to Ralph for more high Q. DeSoto's in the lead in tonight's game. They're up by 50, 120 to 70 is our score going into half number two. Adam and Mike are joining us. Adam's with Leavenworth. Reintroduce yourself, if you will, please, Adam. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm a sophomore at Leavenworth. What's your last name there? Adam Harrington. Okay, and... Mike for DeSoto. Adam, nice to have you. Mike, tell us about yourself up top there. Hi, I'm Mike from DeSoto. I'm a senior. And your last name again? Is Mike Reddy. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Everybody's in place. Here we go. Setting the clock for six minutes. We've got famous photographs coming along in a while. Here's our first toss-up for this half. And it's math. If Y varies inversely as X, what figure would be formed by the graph of this relation? Well. well Hyperbola. Hyperbola will is right, okay, and uh, here is your, happens to be a math bonus for 30 points, okay. First of all, uh, these uh, answers are all numbers from 1 to 10, by the way, I'll give you a little help there. What positive integer is smaller than the smallest prime? Well, 1. 1 is right. What's the radius of the inscribed circle of a 6, 8, 10 right triangle? Well, need your answer there. Seven. Nope. No, that's no. two was that one. And 25 to the 10th power over 5 to the 19th power simplifies to what number? Time's up, Will. Need an answer? Will, 25 to the negative 8th? Nope. No, it's, remember the, the uh, parameters I gave you. Number mm -hmm. 5. 5 was the answer. You got number 1 for 10 points. <laughs> All right, this is for everybody. What do the following have in common? Crayfish and cuttlefish, jellyfish, shellfish, silverfish, and starfish. What do they have in common? Ryan? They're not actually fish. right Oh, Yeah, none of them are actually fish, Ryan. Okay. Just happen to have that name. Back up to DeSoto for 10 points apiece. Put these events in their respective decades, players. Chuck Yeager breaks the sound barrier. What decade? The 40s. Yes. Verdun. Teens. The teens? Teens is right. Execution of Nicholas and Alexandra. 
the teens? Sure, that's also the teens. And the beer hall putsch. The 30s? The 30s? 1920s, before Hitler came to power. So you got the first three, that is for 15, is it 15. not? Were those yep. five apiece? 15 mm -hmm. points more for DeSoto, all right. What word can mean a harmonic state of agreement or an alphabetical index of all the phrases in a text showing all contextual occurrences of a word? That would define what? Time or off? Kind of a toughie there, okay, time? Yep. Concordance, concordance we were looking for. Identify the title and author of the novel in which we meet Robert Walton, the inventor, Victor, Justine, and the monster. I'm Ralph, all right. Got a buzz. Frankenstein? Right, Frankenstein, and need, and need the author, too, Will. Um, Percy, or Mary Shelley. Mary right. Shelley, yeah, okay. Here's your bonus. And uh, this is on physics, guys. I don't know how much you know about physics. That's what we have for you, 30 points. Which term is used to indicate the qualities of sound transmission within a room or a theater? Acoustics. Acoustics? Right, that wasn't too tough. And in the Newtonian model, this force is so strong in the black hole, it doesn't even allow light to pass through or escape. Gravity. Gravity. Now, what current flows through a potential difference of 24 volts through a resistance of 3 ohms? 24 volts and 3 ohms. 8 amps. Right on. That's right. Got them all. So there's 30 points. Good job. It's not too tough. Those are you handle those well. All right. Of social realism, pragmatism, skepticism, existentialism, and behaviorism, Martin Heidegger made great contributions to which branch of philosophy? Jenny Leavenworth. Existentialism. Existentialism right is on. Heidegger, right, Jenny? Okay. We go now to the famous photographs. You got the art bonus, you get the photographs too. This is for possible 30. Here's your first one for 15. San Francisco was a thriving city at the turn of the century. The gold rush was booming. The city by the bay was in a perfect location, but certainly not for earthquakes. The city was ruined on April 18th by an enormous quake, striking at 5.13 a.m. that day. Two days later, firemen and soldiers blew up most of what was left. They were creating fire blocks. In what year was the great San Francisco earthquake? Need the year. 1912. 1906. Sorry, so no points there. Here's your second photograph. Lionel Hampton calls his clarinetist the first major figure in his field to put black and white performers on the same stage in the 1930s. In the last year of his life, 1986, he was awarded an honorary doctorate of music by Columbia University. Who is this famed musician who brought in the swing era? Benny Goodman? That is Benny Goodman, so we'll give you 15 points for that. Okay, here's our next toss-up. What important property of an object in motion is calculated in physics by multiplying its mass times the square of its velocity? Adam. It's kinetic energy? Right yes, up. and dividing that by two. Adam, you got that right without the end of the question there. Kinetic energy. Name the age or period, and for 20 points altogether, five points apiece, you place it in its proper century. So you have a century question yourself. We're looking for the ancient regime. Which century? The ancient, A-N-C-I-E-N regime. Jenny? 13th. No, 500 years or so later, the 18th century. Next is the age of reason. You'd find that where? Age of reason. Jenny? This, uh... 17th century? That was the 18th also. The Gilded Age? Take a crack at that. The 17th century? 19th. And the Jazz Age? The 20th. Yeah, the 20th century. So five we'll give points. you five for the last one there. Next, uh, we have a choice question for all of you. You might want to listen for these choices before you buzz. What is the mechanical model of the solar system called? Is it trine, orrery, azimuth, perigee, or astrolabe? the mechanical model of the solar system. Jenny. The astrolabe. Nope. No, DeSoto, you want to try one of those other four? Well, perigee. No, nope. and we'll stop right there. The answer was orrery. O-R-R-E-R-Y -R -R -E is the model of the, the uh, solar system. All right, so we'll take a break. And we have the lightning round coming up next. Let's check our score. DeSoto, you were in the lead by 50. And now you're up 205 to 110, so it's going to be another good lightning round. We'll have a minute for each of you right after we take a minute for this.
for finishing touches that make your house a home. See the beautiful Waverly Collection at Ed Marling's. At Ed Marling's, you can coordinate designs and fabrics, even wallpaper, to create a look of elegance in your home. Waverly stands for exceptional styling and incomparable quality. Visit our Waverly Gallery and find out how you can give your rooms the look you've dreamed of for years. See Ed Marling's, just off 29th and Fairlawn in Topeka. The competition calls themselves the minivan store. <laughs> but for a store, they sure are short on selection. Like if you want a minivan with dual airbags, four-wheel anti-lock brakes, and the lowest step-in height, they don't have one. Or let's say you need a minivan that can tow up to 3,900 pounds. They don't have one. Who does? Your local Ford dealer. And now during minivan days, you can get a 95 Windstar with 1,000 cash back or a low lease payment of just $2.99 a month. Or get a Ford Aerostar and get 1,000 cash back. All during minivan days at your local Ford dealer. The only place to shop for your minivan. The bedroom furniture store for today is a name you've known for 20 years. American Waterbeds. Now we're waterbeds and a whole lot more. Save on youth bedrooms. Like the bunkhouse collection for the little wrangler in your family, bunk beds just $1.99. Save on futons like this sleek black metal futon sofa bed, only $2.29. Save on traditional and contemporary oak walls that fit all beds, like the Las Palmas, just $3.99. Today you'll find everything for the bedroom with the savings you expect. Only at American, the waterbed and bedroom superstore. Just going through your questions here, Leavenworth, you'll be up first. I've got seven for you. We'll set the clock for a minute. And if you can get your seven and their seven, gosh, you're going to win this game with room to spare. So anything could happen here. So good luck. And Leavenworth, this is for you. DeSoto, what they miss, you'll get later. 60 seconds. And here we go with the lightning round. What name is given to the region of North Europe consisting of Iceland and Denmark, Sweden and Norway? Jenny. Scandinavia. That's right. It costs nothing to send domestic mail in this country. International mail can be sent from French or Spanish post offices. We want the name of the country. Jenny. Andorra. Andorra's right. You've heard of the man in the moon. Where on the human body would you find the 20 moons? On the body. Jenny. On your foot? No, nope, nope. that's not correct. Who was the winner of the Korean War? Who won that? Jenny? South Korea? Nope. Incorrect. Instrumental music endowed with literary or pictorial associations is known as program music. Music which is devoid of these correlations is known as what? Andrew? Abstract? Nope. No, not correct. Between 244 and 249 AD, this ancient empire was ruled by an emperor known as Philip the Arabian, who was of Arabic descent. We want to have you name the empire. In that. Adam? Nope. No, that's incorrect. We'll put this one off to the side. You didn't get through all those, but you got two. 20 more points. You've got 130 altogether and more to come here. DeSoto, here's your list. We'll go in reverse order with what they missed. We need the uh, ancient empire ruled by Philip the Arabian of Arabic descent, 244 to 249 A.D. Buzz in if you know that one. Well, the Ottoman Empire? No, it was the Roman Empire we were looking for. Instrumental music endowed with literary or pictorial associations is program music. Music devoid of those correlations is known as what? You know that one? Well, purist music? Nope. Absolute. He had half of it there. Absolute music. Who was the winner of the Korean War or Korean conflict? Well, there was none. Right. There was no winner. You get 10 points there, right? Nobody won. And uh, where on the human body would you find the 20 moons? Ryan. On the palm? Nope. No, uh, the, the uh, base of the fingernails has the 20. Or, the, or any nails. Yeah. Right, you got or to the, add the 20, Ralph. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, DeSoto, this is your stack of questions. Leavenworth, what they miss, you'll get. Need a minute on the clock, please, for DeSoto, and here are your questions. The Ryan NYP hanging from a ceiling in Washington, D.C., is better known as what? The Ryan NYP. Time, Ralph. Pass on that one. H. H. Monroe is known principally for what genre of literature? Well, short stories. Short stories, right. A pommel, cantle, horn, and flank cinch would be found on what? Eric? A saddle. On a right. saddle, Eric, you got it. What record is held by the sailfish? Ryan? The longest out of water jump. Nope. Uh, no, we'll put that one up here. What's the largest city in the Rocky Mountain time zone? The largest city in the Rocky Mountain time zone. Will? Denver? No. Nope. Sorry about that. That's in the, that is in the mountain time zone, though. Uh, who are the best-known female spirits of northern European tradition? The female spirits. 
Well, the Valkyries? Yes, right. that's a correct answer. In, and in 1709, this buried city named for a son of Zeus was discovered by chance when a well was dug. Can you name the buried city? Well, Herculaneum? Right. That's right again. Okay. Leavenworth, I've got three more for you. DeSoto might have pulled this off here, but here's a possible 30. We need the largest city in the Rocky Mountain time zone. Buzz in if you know that one. Andrew. Phoenix. Phoenix, right. Arizona, yes. What record is held by the sailfish? They didn't get that one. Jenny. Fastest the fish. Fastest right. of all fish. And the Ryan NYP hanging from the ceiling in Washington is a lot better known as what? Jenny. The National Seal. Uh, no, the spirit of St. Louis that Lindbergh flew to Paris. Okay, so you got 20 more. Back in a moment, let's uh, calculate our final score during this break and we'll see who our winner is. Son, how about throwing me a cold one? Just like old times, huh, Dad? Just like the old days. This isn't a Pepsi. I know. I saved nine cents. Unbelievable. Kid saved a lousy nine cents. The kids will be in college in a few years. Dad said retirement would be here before I know it. I needed a plan. Capital Federal helped us get started with a savings plan to meet our needs. I like the security of having a financial plan for my family. Now if you just work on a plan for this. <laughs> it's never too early to start saving for the future. We can help with a full range of savings and investment options. Capital Federal Savings, the most trusted name for over 100 years. Here's your invitation to an open house with a new attitude at Crown Chevy Olds in Lawrence. To celebrate, Crown has ordered a special allotment of new 95 Chevy cars and trucks, which means you're going to save hundreds, even thousands of dollars on a great selection of new genuine Chevrolets. Open the doors and drive away in a new 95 two-door Metro for only $88.59. Or take advantage of open house savings on this 95 S10 extended cab for only $13,235. Come celebrate all year long with the new attitude at Crown Chevy Geo Olds. Who will move on to the quarterfinals? Everybody's played now. Let's check our final score with DeSoto and Leavenworth. 255 to 150. DeSoto, you won it by 105 points. So you'll be back to see us later in the second round. Congratulations to you. Our uh, first champion school, I believe, DeSoto won the very first high cue. So uh, we will see you back again. Another shot at it. And Leavenworth, thanks for coming to see us. We will begin in just a moment here on 13 with second round play. Shawnee Mission East and Thomas Moore Prep are back to join us again. And we'll be back right after we take a break. <laughs> 